Surprise squad, what's good, man? It's your boy JR here, back with another video. Oh man, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, man, the way things been happening in the past few years, you know what I'm saying, with the car and everything, uh, I'm gonna damn near have a full new paint job, a whole new paint job by the time, you know, I'm finished with life. You know what I'm saying? So basically what happened in the uh, earlier part of today was I was parked and typically when I park, I back into my parking spaces so we can pull out. Uh, if you don't know, most black people do back into parking spaces. It's kind of a thing. Uh, and I was at the gym and a person was parked to the left of me on the, on the driver's side. And when this person pulled out, they cut too hard to the right. Needless to say, man, they scraped my shit up, man. I'm hot, man. So I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. I was hot, boy. I saw this right here. I was like, oh, oh my god. They knocked out my little black piece right here that goes right there. See, like on the passenger side, it's got a little something, little grill insert right there. They knocked that out. I mean, I got that piece in the car, but they scraped up all of this here all of that so all of that's the whole bumper is gonna have to be replaced pretty much i don't think they can um i mean it's possible they may be able to just like repair it sand it down paint it they probably have, they'll probably have they're gonna have to repaint the whole bumper if they don't replace the whole bumper they'll definitely have to repaint it um and they may replace the the headlight as well i'm not sure i think this is more so part of the grill I don't see anything on the grill cracked or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, they may be able to sand it down, maybe just repaint it. But um, I will say this much: let me get back in the car real quick. We'll let you listen to it for a hot second. Oh yeah. All right. So as far as oh man. So I say as far as um, it's funny how it happened <clears throat> because I was leaving out of the gym I was doing my cardio on my lunch break I was leaving out of the gym and I saw this guy standing by the car he had kind of like pulled out already kind of like halfway in halfway out and I saw him standing by the car he had his phone out and he was just kind of walking around taking a picture or a video or whatnot so I, I mean I assumed that like he just liked the car and liked the way it looked and everything so he was just taking a picture or whatever admired it then I saw the damn little headlight grill insert on the ground. I was like, damn it, something happened again. So he was nice about it though. Uh, if I hadn't came out at that time, I mean, at least he did like put this piece of paper on the car, on the windshield and everything. Um, it's got his name, it's got his name, phone number, car problem, call me, we'll handle it that's what he said so it's not like he just hit me and then pulled off like it won't nothing he was driving it like a, a mercedes crossover uh suv you know and, that, and that, it wasn't like a 2022 it was a little bit older not too old but i'm pretty sure he wants to get his fixed too i'm gonna put up a couple pictures man so y'all can see exactly what his look like versus you know what i what mine's look like and whatnot so he was nice about it um but i got his information i don't filed a claim already and only thing is <laughs> is that I have to, I have to take it, uh, I gotta wait two weeks before I can put it in the shop because the shop that I'm gonna take it to to get it fixed. If you don't know, the last accident that I was in, which was not my fault as well, um, the body shop, I took it to Ren's Body Shop over here on Fairman Road in Douglasville and they fixed up my car real nice, man. So I'm taking it back to them again so they can uh, fix this part too. So. Uh, not only do I have a new bumper and paint and quarter panel paint and all that, now I'm about to get a new uh, front end bumper. New paint job on the front too. So yeah, she damn near got a new paint job, fully, uh, which is funny, man. But uh, it's not funny at the same time because now I gotta ride around with this mess for like two weeks and I don't even know, y'all let me know in the comments, like can I wash the car? I probably shouldn't wash the car. I'd probably just leave it as is keep this grill insert i mean the headlight insert on the grill keep down the car so i probably just can't do anything to the car man i'll be riding around here looking crazy 
uh, until it gets to the shop and they look at it and the adjuster does whatever, whatever. So with that being said, man, look, <laughs> if y'all got new challenges and stuff, this is I'm not at the same gym um, that I was at when this happened. I'm at a different gym. But yeah, park somewhere like out there if you can. You see how they kind of spaced out? But people, even still, like you can see it even right here, man. Look at this. What is that, Nissan Altima? You can see like right there, they parked out there and then somebody still parked directly beside them. It never fails, man. It's like, you can try all you want, man, but hell, if it's gonna happen, it's just gonna happen, bro. So you just got to, uh, I don't know, I mean, make sure you got all your stuff straight. So when these type of things happen, you know, you can just go on and get it fixed and keep it pushing, man. So um, I'm not tripping about it too, too much, you know, luckily, like I said, you know, he stuck around, so I didn't have to worry about all that. I mean, which I would have got to fix regardless. Um, do have to pay like a deductible, but uh, I'll probably end up getting that back once they get, you know, his insurance to submit and everything like that and agree. But yeah, man, I just wanted to show y'all that. And don't worry, y'all. The race is definitely coming, man. It's just, you know, I've been living life, man, and stuff is piling up at the moment so i gotta you know tighten some things up with that but this just happened today and i wanted to show y'all and i'll let y'all know what was going down y'all know that i'm gonna get a rental and hopefully you know whatever they have up there at the shop uh, at, at the at the enterprise spot i'm gonna you know do a review on it you know if y'all want to see i'm gonna make sure i'm, I'm gonna try to get something they said they want to give me something comparable to what i have uh, I've seen them. They have had challengers up there. I haven't really seen too many scat packs. They typically keep like V6 challengers, which is okay. Um, or like Mustangs. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm gonna try to find something comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So I can still give y'all some content with what I have. You feel me? But anyway, man, so y'all make sure y'all be safe out here in these streets. Protect yourself first and foremost. Cars and all that stuff can be replaced, fixed, whatever. It can be taken care of, but you got to take care of yourself first and foremost, man. But it's your boy, JR. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one, man. Until next time. Peace.